to do this weekend? Ask the boss. Hey, let's go bowling. Hey, look at this line for the movie. Well, what else can we do? Watch TV? Hey, let's go bowling. Let's play gym. Oh, we always do that. Hey, let's go bowling. You got it. All over America, people are saying, Hey, let's go bowling. Hey, let's go bowling. Summer leagues are forming now. Call your nearby Northern Kentucky BPA Bowling Center and let's get summer bowling a little shot. But back to business at hand, we're at Southern Lanes, week number nine. <coughs> Nick Banjo along with Douglas Martin. This is our finals match. This is our top qualifier you're looking at, Dan Higdon from Alexandria. Oh, it may fall yet. <laughs> Pulled that one up a little bit, Nick. Not a bad shot to, for your first time on the tube, though. Just a little high. Leaves a six pin. Talk about deliberate ball, Doug. Yeah, he is real deliberate. There we see 46 handicap uh, for Dan, 142 average. Going cross lane for the six. Just barely got it. <clears throat> Wasn't sure about it. That went to the last second. Nick, I was uh, bowling in a celebrity uh, bowling tournament yesterday, as a matter of fact, up in Cincinnati. And, uh, Were you the alternate? No, I was. they let me bowl regular. Oh, okay. uh, we were bowling against a team made up of Johnny Bench, uh, Turk Schoenert, Pat Barry, and Crazy Squirrel from Q102. Art still got it. He hadn't lost it. And uh, it was pretty exciting. Uh, Johnny Bench is a heck of a bowler. He's uh, he just an all-around athlete. He shot real well there yesterday. Turk did real well. The squirrel was uh, a little questionable, but here we see it again. Perfect shot. Boom. They're out of here. Did you see the drive on that ball? Yeah. He, he throws a powerful ball. You know what? Drive. You know what? I asked Pat Berry. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but I asked Pat Berry yesterday. Well, we got a we got a balk here. Not sure exactly what happened. Something something disturbed uh, Art. Decided to come back and collect his thoughts and try it again. Let's see how he can recover from that. That's got to mess with you. Now I was talking to Pat Berry yesterday, and I said, Pat, I'm uh, getting ready to do a little boating this afternoon. I said, How's the weather going to be? Well, he got that. He really got that one out. He gets away with it. He had that right on the first board on the edge. <laughs> yeah, Mark Evans now, baby. He's, uh, he had it right on the last board, and it just did come watch back. Watch this ball hang over the watch edge. Watch that. It, it was hanging over in the gutter, and it comes back. It gets them out of there. The 10, there it goes. Unbelievable <laughs> shot. Here's Danny Higdon. Danny. Oh! Gets a break. Pulls it to the uh, Cincinnati side, gets a piece of the head pin, gets him out of there. Now, Danny's a 46 handicap and Art's a 2. We got, see it again. He's going to have to play a little catch-up. But you know with this uh, merit tournament format, everybody's got a chance to get on the 2. Whether you're a 200 bowler or a 140 bowler, you can be right here. So get out and give it a shot. We just got uh, another week left. Double for Danny. Pulls it off. He likes that Cincinnati side. Even though he's a south ball, he's going to the right-hander side, and he's uh, getting away with it. But anyway, getting back to Pat Berry, I asked him, I said, what kind of, what, yeah, i got to finish the story. I said, what kind of weather are we going to have this afternoon? I want to go boating. He said, you got no problem. Everything's going to be perfect. As soon as I got down to the boat, the clouds came over. It started raining and uh, carrying on. I thought, well, I don't know if I'm going to listen to Pat anymore now, but... There's Artie. Oh. Had the four going around the seven. But no, Pat's a, Pat's a real fine gentleman. I enjoyed bowling with him yesterday. And uh, I don't know of a forecaster in the city that isn't wrong once in a while. But with this crazy weather around here, you never know what it's going to do, especially this past week. It rained for a while and snow for a while and sleep for a while and the uh, sun will come out for a while. There's no place like home, as Dorothy once said. Yeah. Arch got it. Nick, the uh, Northern Kentucky BPA Champions of Champions Tournament is being held this coming week, and I'll be bowling in, as a matter of fact. I've got uh, my teams going over. We won our league this year at Super Bowl. Uh, the 
semifinals of the men will be held uh, this week at Bowl Lounge. The ladies will be held at Bellwood Lane down in Bellevue. And the mixed couples will be held at Cherokee Lane. And then the finals for the men will be on June the 1st at Dixie Lane. Well, Art, you see Art. Way out there. There it is. Mark it down, baby. Picks it up. <laughs> Good shot. Art's just uh, really trusting that ball. He's giving it plenty of room and letting it roll back. Uh, back on the champion champions, as I said, the finals will be June the 1st. Dixie Lanes and men. Ladies at LaRue Lanes on June the 1st. And the mixed couples will be at Wall Center Lanes on June the 2nd. So uh, we're looking forward to that this week, all the bowlers that are involved. There's Danny. Danny. Danny thought he had that in about the right place, but it hooked back a little bit too much for him on the back end. Leaves a 4-7. Danny in qualifying rolled a 237, 231, and 170 for 638 scratch, plus handicap for 776. Not bad numbers there. Dan's using a gyro one, 16 pounds, fingertip. Fix, fix it up. Danny's 23 years of age. He's single. Finally got a single person on the show. Finally here. got a single person. I thought we were the only two, two here again today. Danny manages a mobile home park. Six five step approach. Got it back on the on the right hander side, a little bit tight. Leaves a four pin. Dan's having a problem keeping that ball on the left side, but he's had pretty good success uh, letting it go to the right. With the handicap difference, Artie's still got some room to make up. Yeah, he does. Because Danny's Dan pulling picks it a up. perfect game. Flawless. You know, I just, uh, somebody in the crowd here who knows Art real well just uh, gave me some insights that he is normally, a, used to be a right-handed bowler until about 10 years ago and switched to uh, a left-hander. And I uh, said he used to be a pretty good right-handed bowler. And I know he's a good left-handed bowler. Well, that is it. That's interesting. There well, it that's is. what he can do left handed he might as well stay that way yeah, exactly well for some reason uh, a, a lot of left handers when they first start bowling they've got a natural hook 80-90% uh, of them never see it again it's going to come up a little light a little headboard action Boy, gets them out of there headboard action. but uh, most left handers seem like they put a natural hook on the ball and it seems like it's a little harder for a right hander to be able to do that and uh he probably switched to left hand because it's a little easier to hook the ball. Right there. Best shot of the match right there. Well, he's for, a, for a triple. Got the big turkey. So he's he's making up that, uh, that handicap difference here. Eating those pins up. Danny's just trying to hang on. Got it out. It's There's there. the ball. We'll mark it down. He's been having a problem. He throws it real slow, Nick, and uh, consequently it hooks a fair amount on the back end. He's been having a problem giving it, it enough room. Here we see it again. It gets this ball out. Gives it more room. Right out about the third board. It comes back right there. That one just didn't come back for him that time. Did you know that Danny's only been bowling for three years? Is that right? Three well, that's, years. That's, a, that's a real tribute. I'm sure he's out here uh, practicing all the time. That's what you have to do, Nick. You've got to practice. Get out your local BPA lanes uh, today and uh, practice up that game. Didn't get that one back either. Left the three pin. Well, I guess That's his first miss. 
I guess it's time to give the plug of the week for the viewer of the week. Each and every week, someone always comes up to me and says, Hey, let's go bowling. I watch your show. So, the viewer of the week, my plug is. I'm going to hold a little suspense okay, after this ball <laughs> There it is. There. Mark it. Just down. a tad tight. It gets away. It gets a six kicked out of there. He's got a four bagger now, Nick. He's thrown. Seven balls and six have been strikes. Anyway, the viewer of the week this week is Mr. and Mrs. Schulte. They always are walking around. Always. To keep in good shape. Anyway, they watch the show. Here we see it again, Nick. Crunch. He's thrown seven balls. Six have been marked down. We're in the eighth. Now, our he happened again. Something's uh, messing up his concentration here. He got started and he uh, stopped again. That's what you should do. If something bothers you, you should not, not go uh, through with the shot. Stop and go back and collect your thoughts. Oh, is it going to go? Is it going to go? Oh, no. That pin, I know, spun around four times. At least. Here, here we see it again. This is, this is wild. Watch this ball. Let's, Comes let's in a little down. heavy. One. Little two, headboard three. action. Just three. did everything but fall. Three and a half revelations. Can you believe it? And for his next trick. <laughs> Fix it up. Well, Nick, we got a uh, one pin difference right now. Dan is still hanging on to a one pin lead. You know, I. I don't think I've ever seen a pin spin that many times without actually falling. No, that's uh, that's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. That too. <laughs> There's Danny trying to hang on. Danny, a little, little tight. Leaves a six. He's got to have this to stay in the match here. Cross lane for the six. He's got it. And Nick, one pin separates him right now with two to go. I tell you, Danny looks good and nice keeping his composure for only being around the game for three years. Yeah, yeah I was just going to say that. And first time on the tube and bowling against somebody like Art Smith, which is intimidating the way he's throwing that ball, but Danny's hanging tough. You should never believe it, but he's a 146 average bowler. Yeah. Look at the ball come back. Work it, it down, baby. Good shot. Next week, Doug, we're going to be taping at Bellwood. Back at Billy Swear John's place, Bellwood Lanes, then in Bellevue, Kentucky. There's Artie. I'd like to invite everybody to get out next week, 9.30 a.m. Well, 9.30. If Bellwood I can be here, you can be show. here. There's Artie. Early today. He needs there the shot. Is. Mark it down, baby. We got a one-pin match. Both bowlers on a strike headed at number 10 for now, Art Smith Jr. has one title already. Dan Higdon, first time on the tube. Here. Doug, in this situation, would you rather be bowling first and sitting down or watching? Normally, uh, you'd like to bowl first. Put the pressure on your opponent. You get up there and throw a few strikes, and uh, you, you put the pressure back on him. I'd rather do it that way. Let's see, Artie. First ball. There There's is. the big ball. Mark it down. Art ain't going to let this game get away from him. He's not going to lose it. He's going after him. Well, no matter what, he cannot lock Dan out. Nick, I want you, you and everybody to know I was here, one well, of the first ones here this morning. Even all the way out here in Alexander, which is a pretty good trek from Erlanger. And uh, then you come waltzing into this outfit. I said, well, you're not even ready to do the show, man. And that's why I surprised you. I said, yes, I am. 
Already big second ball. In Already the pulled that one. It's on the beak. Breaks up the split. Tough little spare he's got there. Two four seven. If he gets this neck, he'll wind up with two forty seven. Pretty daggone good numbers. Those are the three pins he needs. The two four seven four two four seven. He's forced Dan to uh, throw a double here in the tenth. No, forcing him to throw a one in the tenth. Well, it's, well, he'll have a double. He's got uh, the one in the foundation frame, the ninth. He needs that first one. 247 for Art. Super game. Danny throws his first one. Well, let's see what this outcome's going to be. This has been a crazy day all day, as we thought it would be at the start of the show. Let's see how... There's already kickback. Yeah, he's done all he can do. Think now about that Paps Blue Ribbon. About ready yep. to have. This little Paps break here. This is the situation. A must ball for Danny to win it. There it is! There it is! Yeah, yeah baby! Man, Dang. he handled that like a veteran. Put it right in the pocket. No problem. Never a doubt. Cool, calm, and collective. With one more, he's got it locked up. Here we see him again. Ball's coming back. Boom. They're out of here. Lock it up with this shot. A 146 average board. Looks more like a 246 average board. Went to the beak that time, Nick, but got a break. Leaves a four pin. It's over. Yep, it, it's it history. Over. He's got 249 right now without even throwing a ball. Picks this up for a 250. Now, how about that? That is a real tribute to this this guy that's only been bowling three years. First time on the two, bowling against a guy like Art Smith, who was just crunching them, crunching them here, and he comes back and beats him. He's got it. There's an encore. Dan Hickman, 250. The Art Smith Jr. is 247. What a match. So Dan Hickman and Linda Willby are our winners of Week 9 at Southern Lanes in Alexandria. We'll be back with some check presentation and a few interviews on Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament right after this. <laughs> You gotta love it, but it's always a little bit a little bit crazy at Southern Lanes. And Doug Martin, uh, you got somebody to pass out that long dollar. Yes, I do, Nick. Uh, we promised everybody a crazy day today. We had some crazy uh, wild finishes there at the end, and uh, with your crazy outfit, you fit right in with everything today. But I've got a person here who's uh, not so crazy, but he's uh, Hal Ryan from Southern Lanes here, our genial host, and he's going to present the uh, the dollars here to the bowlers. Hal? Okay. Pleasure, bowlers, to uh, present these checks to you. Darlene, you finished third. There's your check. Marlene, Jelnick, congratulations on yours. Linda, nice bowling. Bob Gertie, it wasn't your day, but we know we'll see you again. <laughs> Art Smith, Jr., nice game, Artie. You just got out numbered. Dan, congratulations on the winners. Thank you, Hal. Now back to Crazy Nick for some wild interviews here. Oh, it's like to get a word with our boys here, Darlene. I think I'm going to have to run over and get her. Yeah, uh, you, you seem to be in a hurry. Do you always just jump up and bowl? Yeah. Definitely. Did you know in that 10th frame that you needed that spare to win it? No. You didn't know it at that time? No. We're going to see you back there, right? Right. You're, you're too nervous. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. Looking good. Looking good. Come here, Marlene. You got you. You were the only lady on the tube with some TV experience. Did that help you? Oh yeah, a little bit. It seemed like you just it looked like you're a little frustrated out there today. It looked like you had a little problem getting started. Well, the first two openings I had that messed me up, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> but but you you ended up doing a good game. You came with your second second. Does that bother you? No. <laughs> Well, we're gonna we're gonna certainly see you back again, right? I'm gonna try. That's the spirit. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Now here's old Linda. I'm telling you what, that it just seemed like when things got started, your confidence just kept building and building. Yeah, it did. I was awful shaky the first four frames, the first game, but then I had everybody back there supporting me and yelling and carrying on. You had yeah. how, how many rooters do you have here today? Well, I don't know, quite a few family and friends, but. <laughs> well, congratulations on your first title 
And uh, let's give, let's see you next week. What do you say? I'm gonna try. I'm going down Bellwood this afternoon. So we like to hear. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Here, here's my buddy Bob. Now Bob, now we we're down Bowl Lounge about six, seven weeks ago when you won it. Things were getting a little crazy. We kind of stayed a little late after the show and had a few cold paps. And uh, come up here. You said it's gonna be crazy up here. And everybody's getting crazy except you. Yeah, well, my ball took a hike on me. It's, uh, I thought I was lined up pretty good, and I just ended up sticking in a little bit. But when you bowl against Art, you can't open three three frames in the first four because uh, he'll eat you alive. And uh, that's about all I can say. Everything else went to lunch. You know, in, in practice, so you you seem to have your mark because I was just kind of joking around. I said, well, Gerg's ready. Uh, but when it came out, uh, the area was just gone. No, there he was there. Gerd was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I was out to lunch. I had a, I had the same shot I didn't practice, but uh, I guess I tightened up a little bit bowling already. It, I wanted to get off to a good start, and when you bowl a fine bowler, you, you better get off to a good start. Oh, we're looking forward to seeing my Gerd buddy back again. <laughs> okay, I hope so. Thank All you. right. Come here, Artie. You, you almost broke tournament history record and won three games in one day. You had to roll the roll off. Do you think that kind of uh, had any wearing on you going into the final match? Uh, not really. Uh, I was comfortable the whole time. I stepped on my pants leg. <laughs> I had to roll them up, but uh, as far as the bowling went, I just had to keep my mark out there and just stay down with the ball. You hesitated a couple times. Is that is that what made the stop? Yeah. A little nervous up there and uh, started to go with my left foot instead of my right. So I just had to sit back and think about it and go again. You bowl, you bowl great. You bowl well to win, but uh, Danny had that big handicap and you just never could uh, get that one lead. That's up. Yeah, well, Dan's a good bowler. He's only bowled about three or four years now, and uh, he stays with the ball pretty well. He's come a long way, and when you got somebody bowling like that, you can't let up. Well, super job. We're glad to have you always. Thanks. Now, here's our winner of the day, Danny. Now, you have only been bowling three years. You look great out there. Yeah, it's something natural, I guess. <laughs> Get up there and try to be consistent at it and do my best. When Artie started stringing them in a row, uh, he had me worried there for a second. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Did he have you worried? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You had to throw that ball, that strike in the 10th frame to win it. And uh, what was on your mind right before you let the ball go? Well, I just wanted to make sure I hit that, you know, my same mark out there. And I, when I let go of it, I knew that I was sort of pushing it. And I could hear it rolling over the thumb hole <laughs> down there. Well, congratulations, Danny. We look forward to seeing you back. All right, sure will.